Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. My name is Ali. Today I have here this iPhone X and it's blocked because I forgot the password. So what I'm gonna do now, I will show you how to remove the password from this iPhone. Uh, this method will work for the iPhone X, XR, XS and XS Max. And also it will work for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. By following this method, you will wipe all the data that you have on the phone. And the second thing, you will stack with the Apple ID and the password if the phone has an Apple ID and password set in, uh, in it, okay? So uh, to, like, uh, to start, we will need like two things. We will need a computer and USB cable. So this is the USB cable, I mean the iPhone charger. So what we're gonna do, we will plug one end here and the other end, we will plug it into the computer. So let's go to the computer. So on the computer, once I plug the USB cable, you hear the click. So it's gonna start installing here, as you see, installing the device drivers. So we will wait until the drivers are completely installed this may take a couple uh, minutes maybe two three minutes so we're just gonna wait here until it's finished okay voila as you see the phone is ready now to use okay so let's close this box all right, so after I plug the phone to the computer, what, I, uh, what I'm gonna do, I will, I will push this button here. One, the volume up, and then I will press the volume down, and then I will push the side button. This used to be the power button, but now it's called, the, they call it the side button. All right, so uh, let's do it. When we press the power button or the side button, we're gonna hold it. But for this one, it will be just like a quick click on it. So one, two, and here, and keep holding. Keep holding, keep holding. I'm holding only the side button here. This one's, I'm not touching them. Keep holding. Et voila, so now we are on the iTunes. So now let's go back to the computer. And if you have the iTunes installed already in your computer, it will uh, pop up automatically here. It will open automatically. You just need to wait a little bit. If it doesn't open, just go and search for the iTunes if you have it installed on your uh, computer. It's supposed to be somewhere here. Just let me search for it, iTunes. I'm sure I have it on my computer iTunes search all right the iTunes is uh, open now so once it opens it shows me here two options uh, I mean three options cancel update and restore the phone must be uh, like uh, on the iTunes mode like it's showing you the sign of the iTunes on the on the screen and also the cable so here if you like uh, stuck with the password and uh, you know what is the password you can just like update it update the iTunes and once you update it it will give you the option to put the password again uh, this is uh, this in case uh, the like the time wait is too long sometimes you keep like trying trying and every time you try the time double for example the first it gives you a time like five tries and it tells you to wait one minute to give you the chance to put the password again and after that if you miss it it, give, uh, it will be like five minutes and if you miss it uh, you have to wait 15 minutes and if you miss it it's gonna keep going up and up and up until you cannot like wait that much time so if you cannot uh, wait that much time and you think that you are still uh, able to remember the password just hit here this button update and this will give you the option to re-enter the password okay so what I'm gonna do now here because I don't know what is the password exactly so I'm just gonna hit here restore restore it will delete all the information on the phone pictures text it will make the phone like fresh like new okay so be you are aware of this and when you hit restore 
you may uh, you will need also your apple id uh, apple id and its password to activate the phone in case the phone has an apple id on it if you if your phone doesn't have an apple id on it you're lucky and you can activate the phone with no problem all right so let's hit restore and once we hit restore here it tells you are you sure you, you want to restore the iphone iphone to its factory settings all of your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iphone software will be installed okay so i hit restore and update and now it tells me like this is the this is the software version that it will be installed on this uh, process hit next agree and now if you have the software already like downloaded it will start extracting the software here but if it's not downloaded you will see here this you see it as this circle is fine here that means it's downloading the software so let's click here here you see uh, the software it's three gigabytes and uh, now it's already download like 50 uh, let's say 60 megabytes and uh, we will wait 27 minutes so we're not gonna wait here 27 minutes we're just gonna like uh, pause the video until the 27 minute is done and we will have the software ready by the way your phone will get out from the itunes mode so you have to put it into the itunes mode one more time all right my friend it's uh, two minutes to finish downloading no actually it's uh, just like 50 seconds to finish downloading the software on the computer so what i'm gonna do here i will uh, put the phone back to the dfu mode to the what they call it to the itunes mode because it's already get out from it once you leave the phone for a long time it's not gonna be on the itunes mode anymore so what i'm gonna do i will do the same thing that that i showed you in the beginning push the volume up volume down and the power button and keep holding all right as you see the itunes logo now and uh, once the file finish processing here it will uh, it will start extracting by itself because it's finished downloading now it's processing the file here so now it's searching here okay so the file is finished processing so now we're gonna see like sign here which tells us that itunes is, is extracting the software all right as you see it's right here now so let me hide this and as you see extracting the software so now in this moment we just need to put the phone down and wait until it finish so as you see the phone is right here it's connected to the itunes and uh, the software is extracting so i'm just gonna wait until i see the light all right it almost finished i mean finish extracting all right now it's preparing the iphone for restore the iphone here will go, will restart as you see it turns off we are waiting for the iphone to turn back on all right it's ready now the phone restarts and once you see this line here that means the iphone will start like updating the firmware so as you see it moves from verifying the iphone software now it starts res uh, restoring the iphone firmware and we just need to wait okay now we see here your iphone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting okay as you see here on the on the other side on the phone the phone is restarting may take like a couple uh, more minutes maybe one or two Okay, as you see the phone restarted now and it's all new so 
and here on the phone we're gonna activate it I select the language set up manually and they have to connect the phone to like a network if the phone has an Apple ID we will stuck uh, on the middle of this process but if it doesn't have an Apple ID we can go to the home screen if the phone has an Apple ID also when the customer come here I will just ask him if he know the, if he remember his Apple ID or uh, and his pa and its password we will uh, go ahead and activate the phone alright guys so I think we've done here and uh, if you like this video and if it helps you to solve your uh, iPhone problem please uh, hit the thumbs up also share this video with friends it may help someone and uh, I wish you good luck and that's it see you in the next video and have a wonderful time peace